all right now let's talk about hadoop modes okay now before i move to the hadoop modes if you remember in the initial days i told you that the big data is basically a concept is basically a concept of processing huge amount of data out of which hadoop is one of the a very popular framework right but then you may have a questions do we have any other competitor of big data okay i will say alternative but not competitor okay like see apache spark is of course a good competitor of of a big data hadoop i'll tell you what the difference between both of them right now that's okay we have graph lab we have hpcc system we have dryad we have stratosphere and so on disco phoenix plasma there are so many other alternatives which you can use instead of hadoop okay but hadoop is much more popular the reason is it is completely open source okay how about spark spark is also doing good and they all work together i will not say hadoop is uh, hadoop is completely gone how many people uh, believe here that hadoop is no more used in the industry the industry uses all spark how many of you feel so okay i'll come back to that discussion okay but let us talk about the modes in hadoop okay let's talk about the modes in hadoop okay now by default when you are installing hadoop hadoop can run on three modes okay hadoop can run on three modes one is standalone mode another one is pseudo distributed mode and third one is fully distributed mode okay now standalone mode let's understand all these modes okay so standalone mode means i will install hadoop in a single system okay like it is the default mode if you if you install your hadoop by default if you run a mapreduce program by default it would run on a standalone mode and that would be installed on a single node and all the processes the, those five demons right for example if i talk about hadoop one name node secondary name node data node job tracker and task tracker if i talk about hadoop two and three then job tracker and task tracker would be replaced by your uh, node manager and your resource manager right so so all those processes are called as demons and all these demons would run as a single jvm okay and this can be used only for small development testing and debugging okay now if if i show you the example of it it will look like this so i have taken here i have written here job tracker and task tracker replace this with your resource manager and node manager okay so that if you see all of them would be the process which would run on a single jvm that means they will not be running as a separate processes they will run as a single program okay now the other mode is pseudo distributed mode in pseudo distributed mode we will still use a single node which will still we we will still use a single mode but but the cluster would be simulated for example now after this chapter what we are going to learn next would be installing hadoop in a single node machine okay that time when we do a installation of hadoop on a single node machine then you will see name node secondary name node data node your resource manager your node manager are all running as a separate process okay although it is on a single system but they would be running on a separate jvm okay and this is called as a pseudo distributed mode i'll talk about this again as we install our uh, hadoop and i will show you that those five you know processes are up and running and I'll, i'll again tell you that this is basically a pseudo distributed mode okay and this is also used for development and your debugging and this is the important one where you will see uh, the production based uh, system where you have a name node secondary name node and here here you'll have your resource manager right rm resource manager and here you'll have node manager and data node right so this is basically a production like multi node uh, environment setup it is called as a fully distributed mode where you have multiple nodes and hadoop will run on a cluster of machines okay so what we do basically you know we install hadoop in all this system we install hadoop in all this system and in few system we will run only name node right 
out of which one will become active other would become passive or standby in one i will run secondary name node in one i will run job tracker or resource manager and in all of them i'll run only data node and my node manager that's how basically your your hadoop would be installed okay so see you will have a confusion like this i know that uh, you will have a common confusion like when we say hadoop we always talk about those five processes right name node secondary name node then a data node then your job tracker or i'll say resource manager or task tracker or or node manager right so we always talk about this uh, this nodes we we always talk about this process but when if if we if we set up if we if we want to do a multi node setup then see as hadoop will come as a single zip file as a single zip file means as a single tar file okay as a, as a single file the same file you will install everywhere the same file you will install everywhere okay now based on your requirement in one node you will you will run only name node in other computer you will run only secondary name node in other you will run your data node and your node manager and that's how you basically differentiate between master and slave